Welcome to Katie's Storybook Adventures. I'm Miss Katie, and I'm thrilled to go on today's reading adventure with you. In today's adventure, we'll be joining a turkey and his barnyard friends on a Halloween mission for treats. If you have a copy of the book at home, I invite you to go grab it and join me as we dive into this sweet Halloween story. Turkey Trick or Treat by Wendy Silvano and illustrated by Lee Harper. The moon was full, the air was crisp, it was a perfect Halloween night. Turkey and the other animals watched the trick-or-treaters come and go at Farmer Jake's house. Ding dong! Trick-or-treat! Oh, you look so cute! I mean, spooky! said Farmer Jake's wife, Edna. Here you are, some special Halloween treats for you. Plip, plip, plop! Edna gave out treats. The animals all stared. Oh, how they love treats. It's utterly unfair, complained Cow. Why can't we trick-or-treat, too? We don't have any costumes, Pig grunted. Turkey is great at making costumes, crowed Rooster. Maybe he can get candy for us. The animals all looked at Turkey. Suddenly, Turkey had an idea. I'll be a gobble-gobble ghost. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a ghost. Almost. He floated all the way to Farmer Ben's house. Ding dong! Turkey shivered and shook. Trick or treat! Farmer Ben's son looked at Turkey. I can see through this trick. Halloween treats aren't for turkeys. I'm booting you out. Oh, gobble gobble, grumbled Turkey. Turkey needed a new costume. What now? he asked the other animals. Plip, plip, plop! How about a b b ballerina? bleated sheep. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a ballerina. Almost. Turkey danced all the way to Farmer Joanne's house. Ding dong! Turkey did a perfect pirouette. Trick or treat! Well, this trick is too, too much, said Farmer Joanne's daughter. Turkeys don't get treats. Go leap with the sheep. Oh, gobble gobble, groaned Turkey. I need a better idea. Plip, plip, plop. Shiver moo timbers. How about a pirate, said Cow. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a pirate. Almost. He sailed all the way to Farmer Fred's house. Ding dong. Turkey swashbuckled his sword. Trick or treat. Yo ho, hold on, said Farmer Fred. No treats for turkeys. You can't hook me. Oh, Gobble, gobble, moaned Turkey. Who has a better idea? Plip, plip, plop. I've got it. The neighbor would love a superhero, said Horse. His costume wasn't bad. In fact, Turkey looked just like a superhero. Almost. He zoomed all the way to Farmer Ann's house. Ding dong. Turkey stood tall, puffed up his chest, and flapped his cape in the breeze. Trick or treat! I don't need x-ray vision to see this trick, Farmer Ann said. Halloween treats are not for turkeys. Fly away! Oh, gobble gobble, howled Turkey. I'll never get any candy. Time was running out. The animals rushed to think of more costumes, but nothing seemed right. Until... Ding dong! Mabel Mayberry squinted at Turkey through her thick glasses. Before he could say a word, she exclaimed, Well, Fluffy my feathers, I've never seen such a marvelous costume. You look so real. You can have all the rest of my treats. Plip, plip, plop, ker, plunk. Treats are for turkeys. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Happy Halloween, called turkey. And the treats are for pigs and sheep and cows and horses and roosters too, he said. It was the best Halloween ever.